Welcome to another episode of Lily's Table. Today, I have a super special guest here with me today. So please help me welcome Janae Marie. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Just to give you a little background, Janae has worked with celebrities like Missy Elliott, Sierra, Pharrell Williams, Normani, Tiana Taylor, Tyra Banks, and Dolly Parton. Yes, the whole resume of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's get ready to sit back, relax, and leave it all on the table. <laughs> so, Janae, tell me how long have you been dancing? Well, honestly, I feel like I've been dancing my whole life. Um, you're probably too young to know this show, but The Backyard Against, it was a cartoon show. And ever since then, um, my favorite character on there was Uniqua. And every time they would play the little theme songs, like, I would just dance. And I was around three when I used to watch that show. So then my mom put me in recreational dancing um, at the age of seven. And then I went to competition when I was eight. And then... I was like, you know, I think I really want to take this serious as a career. So when I um, turned 10, I went to my first ever hip-hop dance convention. Shout out to ATLA, Take the Lead, Kiki, Elian, Sakina, Lestage. And that experience was something totally new because I came from competition. So everything was just like, it's going to take us three months to learn a competition dance. And it was just so like... Um, the convention was so organic and the energy there was it felt like it was a family so like once I was there I was like wait this is what it's really like so I was like yeah this is this is what I want to do <laughs> and I'm 14 now and I'm still in the game so yeah <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> yes. okay so what is your favorite style of dance so guys I asked this question to Janae last week and the answer really shocked me so I want to share it with you guys so, Janae? Yes. My favorite style of dance, um, you guys are here to hear first on Lily's podcast. I will honestly have to say it would be jazz. And that's only because um, when I do hip hop, I love to take the sass and the attitude from there. But then I also like to show my technique. So, jazz is the perfect combination of showing my sass attitude, but also showing my technique side. So guys, see, I thought that she would, I thought her favorite style of dance was hip hop because she's so good at it. Thank you. And honestly, it's hard to be a versatile dancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And being versatile in the entertainment industry is so good because it gives you um, an advantage of a, of a lot of people in this industry because you can get booked for more jobs because you know more styles. So make sure y'all are training in all styles. Remember that your technique will get you far. And ballet is, I feel like ballet is the base of everything. So you might not like the music that they play when you're in ballet class, but please make sure y'all get that ballet training because it will help you a lot. <laughs> so, Janae, mm -hmm. I've been dying to know the answer to this question uh -oh. because it's kind of like when you dance, you put your own little style into it, mm -hmm. and I love it so much. Uh -huh. So you have to tell me, what is your, like, secret sauce? Uh-oh, she asked me about the sauce. So <laughs> um, I feel like the secret sauce... Um, I feel like you have to be born with the secret sauce. The secret sauce is the way that you grew up, um, so like your background and the way it influences the way you dance. And I feel like um, your secret sauce also goes with the pocket. And like the pocket is like the way, say like I do the Millie Rock, but then like if I go like this or like I make it more dramatic, then like that's my pocket. So like I feel like the secret sauce is your own flavor, however you interpret the dance, but when you add your own secret sauce to someone else's choreography, you don't want to switch up the choreography. You want to keep it the same, keep it as their base, but then add your own little flavor to it. So, yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I think I should try it just yes. to put my own little secret sauce on mm -hmm. there. <laughs> okay, so, Janae, also, can you tell me um, which dancers you are influenced by? Because you're a really good dancer, and I, like, have to know. Okay, if I honestly told you all the people I was influenced by, we would be here every day, well, all day. So, um, honestly, I feel like everyone in the Atlanta dance community has influenced the way I dance um, because they all interpret dance in different ways. So I get to pull whatever I like from this person, whatever I like from that person, and then I just analyze it and then bring it to how I want to interpret everything. So I feel like... There's so many amazing dancers that you can just learn and be inspired by that I can't choose. So I would just say everybody in the dance industry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I really like that. And Thank you're just you. like all around. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> so um, 
So you see, you kind of like, in everybody else's eyes, you're kind of like perfect. Aww. So I'm like going to ask this question. Mm-hmm. What are your struggles? I don't, personally, I don't think you have any, but like, what um, do you think you need to work on or any, or something like that? Um, Honestly, I feel like, I don't think I'm perfect because I feel like every day is a learning experience. You learn something ev- you start, you learn something new every day. Um, but something I would say I would need to work on is being more open, um, just talking more and engaging with my audience more, just to let them know like the real me. Well, it, besides just the dance part of me. So that's also why I'll be um, starting my YouTube channel soon. So just so you can get a day in the life of everything and just see how I actually am. Besides putting the dance aside and actually see how I actually am on a day-to-day basis. So Wow, um, that's going to be yeah. real fun. So yes. when are you thinking of, like, starting your YouTube channel? Is it, like, a certain day, or are you just going to, like... Um, well, today is actually my first vlog, so y'all are going to be on there. Uh-huh. Um, I plan, hopefully I get to start uploading my content, well, my everyday vlog content um, by the end of this month. So, yeah, stay tuned. Yes! I'm so excited. Okay, now let's talk about being an influencer. Mm -hmm. So, what's it like to be a social media influencer? Being a social media influencer is way harder than people think it is. You have to constantly engage with your audience, meaning you have to answer all your DMs, not only your primary DMs, your general DMs, and not only the general DMs, you have to go all the way to the side where you don't follow them and they're requesting you. So, I feel like on an average, I get like, it's probably like 10 DMs every five minutes. So it's kind of impossible to answer all of them, but I really do appreciate everyone's love and support. But I feel like um, definitely the engaging with your audience part is the hardest because it's like you want to show them what you do every day, but then it's also like I'm busy, so I'm trying to get everything done, but I also want to show y'all everything. So it's like it's it's really hard, but being an influencer is definitely, I feel like, the hardest part of my career because I want everyone to be engaged, but it's, it's a lot of time consuming, so, <laughs> yeah. So, how much time do you think that it makes to create content? Um, it really depends on what kind of content I'm creating. Um, it could go from, like, five minutes to, like, a week of creating, depending on what kind of project it is. I heard you say that being an influencer is really hard, so that means that you kind of feel a lot of pressure, right? Um, yes, just a little bit, because it's like you want, I feel like being an influencer, like, once it's out on the internet, like, it's out there, so, um, you want to, it's like you want to be perfect, but it's like life is not perfect, so whatever you put on the internet is like, like, everyone, I feel like society has made, um, Instagram, or honestly just social media in general, like, the way of how, um, like beauty standards and how life should actually be lived but I want to be an influencer who shows like the real deal how life actually is so I feel like um, there is a lot of pressure on being a perfectionist because I definitely am a perfectionist but I also want to show the real life side of being a social media influencer and honestly just being a normal regular person but just being someone who documents her life so what do you do with all that pressure like how do you let it out um honestly I feel like that's my motivation. Um, Having the pressure just keeps me motivated because it's like, okay, I know people are, um, I'm entertaining people by my life, so I feel like the pressure just motivates me to keep going because I know I'll get further with that, and I just keep going. Wow, Mm -hmm. okay. So now let's talk about your Black Parade video. Yes. That was the most intriguing, colorful, it was just like Thank you. the best music video I've ever seen. Yes. And I can't believe that you came up with all of that choreography. It was so neat. It was so together. I just loved it so much. Ooh, thank you. So how did that make you feel? Um, so I created Black Parade to just show um, because the black movement is very strong right now in the year 2020 because of everything that's just been going on, I wanted to create something that was uplifting but also showing that the younger teen generation is ready to be the next leaders of all the waves and leave a legacy and inspire everyone to create content and just to show um, the teen's capabilities of being the next generation. So um, I just wanted it to be very empowering and very uplifting because we are going through some hard times in the world right now. So I just wanted to bring some joy 
just to have people smile, you know? Yeah, I like it. Okay, so you and your friends are, like, really, really cool. How did you get them to do the music video? Um, I wouldn't really consider them friends because we've grown up, like, our teenage years, we've always... Well, I consider the teenage years the years that you really, like, trying to figure out who you are, trying to figure out your aesthetic. So, like, I feel like we're more family than friends. So getting them to do... um, Getting them to do a simple concept was like really easy because we're always we always say that we have each other's back. So just calling them and like, hey, can y'all do this with me? And they're like, yeah. So we're all down to support each other and we're basically a family. Aww, mm-hmm. yay! <laughs> How many rehearsals did it take to like get everybody on the same board? To be honest, um, because we've all trained with everyone in Atlanta and we all know how to um, sit in our own pockets and we all know how to, we're all professional dancers. We only had, I would say, one and a half rehearsals. The first rehearsal was only four hours to get the choreo out, uh, format everything, and then the second rehearsal was only two hours just to clean everything and make sure everyone had their spots and to have wardrobe solidified, and then the next day we shot. Whoa, now that yes. is, yeah, that's believable yes. because <laughs> when you guys came to the viewing party last week and you guys were learning TikTok, you guys yes. learned it really quick. It was clean, it was yes. together, and I was Thank like, you. yeah, that's very believable. Yes. And um, do you think you had a favorite scene of the music video? Honestly, I really don't have a favorite scene because each scene brought something different to the table. So I feel like the whole video was just crazy. And I still can't believe it was my vision and I brought it to life. And shout out to everyone who was a part of it who brought it to life because that was crazy. I mean, my favorite scene were, mm-hmm. was when you guys were under the pavilion and everybody was lit, yes, having fun. That was my yes, favorite part. Yes, I loved that scene. It was so hot that day, though. Oh, my God, it was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then the part where you said, where you had a plate of ribs. Oh, oh yes. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. But the funny thing about that, everybody was talking about how I didn't bite the rib, and that's because I'm trying to be pescatarian because I don't want to eat any red meat. So, like, when I was like, drip on me, and then I like acted like I bit it, but I actually didn't. That's why I didn't bite it. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> how's that going? Um, so I wanted to switch to being pescatarian because, um, I'm a really, I'm an animal lover, and I just don't believe in hurting things that are in the environment um one day i do want to become like fully vegan but you know i'm a kid still so i still have a lot of food to try so Mm -hmm. i think i'll be like fully vegan once i'm 30 you know because i'm still young but um (laughs) yeah i made the switch um like what is it december and it's kind of been hard like when we have little family gatherings or little cookouts sometimes i do eat chicken because it's like the only option but my mom has been going strong ever since then she hasn't had any chicken but like it's really good like my body feels way lighter and i just feel way more healthier because the red meat like it's just crazy how it's people are eating animals and they're a part of the environment but i don't know do you recommend being pescatarian? Yes, I do recommend um, being pescatarian because um, a lot of foods have a lot of, um, what's it called? Um, what am I saying? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, okay, I do recommend being pescatarian because um, a lot of the foods nowadays do have a lot of um, steroids and a lot of crazy things that our natural foods don't need. So, like, a lot of health issues do come with it. So being, like, fully vegan and only eating um, vegetables and plants straight from the ground will help um, a lot of health issues. And I think it's just overall better for your well-being because you will feel, like, way more refreshing, if you could say. Oh, I think I should try it sometime. Yes, you should. You guys should too. Yeah, and being pescatarian is like only eating seafood and then like mainly vegetables. So that's why I do love going to Juicy Crab and getting that juicy fresh from out because it's seafood <laughs> and you just get that corn and that potato. You can get it. You said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are the last few questions. Uh-huh. I just have a couple more questions mm-hmm. left. So what are you working on right now? Right now, currently, because we are in the pandemic, we can't really do a lot of um, interacting um, with the entertainment industry, like doing acting jobs or um, going on sets and things. So right now, it's more of me being uh, an Instagram influencer or content creator. So that is exactly why I do more promo on my Instagram, um, promoting music, promoting movies or whatnot, and 
also that's also why I'm doing my YouTube channel. So that will be up and running by the end of this month. Speaking yes. of promoting music, do you have that one song on your playlist that is like hyping you up? Because right now it's Black Parade. <laughs> oh yes, Black Parade is definitely a good song because it is empowering. It sends out a good message, but also it's very uplifting. So that is definitely a good song. That yes. On the playlist. Yes. You guys, go watch Janae's music video, Black yes, Parade. Hey. It is everything. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, guys, here's what I'm wondering in my head right now. What's the next step for Janae Marie? The next step for Janae Marie is my YouTube channel where I'll be introducing Janology, which y'all actually just heard it here first. I do have it in my bio, but Janology is going to be a vlog series where I'll just be giving, taking you guys um, every day with my life, and I'm just going to be showing you guys the real deal of how Janae Marie lives her life. And I want to tap into more entrepreneurship, so more merch. I want to start making merchandise and just tapping into all the things, maybe even artistry, and I also want to get into acting. So, you know, that's Ooh. what's coming up for me. Yes, that's, I can't wait. Yes, thank you. But unfortunately, that is all that we have for today. I want to thank my super special guest, Janae Marie. Hey, thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. And thank you for watching another episode of Lily's Table. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye, y'all.